What's up, everybody? It's Angelica Lumia with Pacific Rim Video. We're here, Movement Lifestyle Studios, for the first Freak the Beat workshop with, of course, the Beat Freak. And we have, we have an honorary uh, M plus one ML staffer, Amanda. Y'all know her. Hi, it's Amanda. Sue, hi. All right, ladies, so tell us how this whole ML Beat Freaks collabo came together. Uh, actually, Bonita should be here because she started the conversation with Amanda, and it was actually kind of the the, the timing of everything. I like probably around the same time I just happened to walk in yeah. the space, and I was like, "Wait, I think this is ML." And then I, we started talking, and then the the conversation with Bonita and her all happened at the same time, and so they actually were in cahoots to get this ball rolling, and um, Amanda had played a big part in this, so. And it's happening every Wednesday. No. Yeah. First Wednesday. Oh, sorry, first first Wednesday of the month. So enjoy the first. We're busy. We only we can only do it the first Wednesday of the month. But okay. But what better way to enjoy the first hump day of the month than yeah. with that? Okay. By freaking the beat. Freak, every, freak the hump. Every day is a hump day for me. <laughs> Who said that? I didn't mean that. Yeah, you did. Oh, uh, we're going to get to that segment later. All right. So, but how, how was teaching you guys? I mean, I know you guys teach individually, but all together, it's been a while, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we are practicing to do season 12 of ABDC. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. 12. Yeah, like how we skip, like, 8, 9, 10. Absolutely. But we practice, we, we're getting ready. Uh, we, we're going to do it all in bikinis this time because um, we don't think we showed our body enough last time. And I'm just you still, no, you have no idea. Online, everybody's still like, y'all should have won. Speaking of ABDC, though, do you guys miss it? I miss parts of it. <laughs> um, we miss you. I, we used to see you every week. Literally. Every week. I, I feel like we would kind of annoy you guys, though. Like, hey, surprise, we're here. It's not really a surprise, though. We're back. No, we love you guys. And it's awesome, too, like how, like, you guys have grown so much, like, and it's so cool to see everything that you guys are doing as well. It's so awesome. With the help of you guys, though, seriously. Oh, third <laughs> so, yeah. You know what I really want to bring back, though? I don't know if you guys remember, but like it was like one of the first like segments I did like ever. I'm curious. Do you guys remember that? No, you guys probably don't. But it was like one of the first like in the Pacific Rim archives. It was, I would just, you know, ask a curious question. Wait, it was wait, really random. Was that, he, that, was that here? It was in New Jersey, it was actually. New Jersey. Yeah. It was, I forgot oh, what my... That's when we did that big interview where we sat in the dressing room. There. I remember that. That interview was serious. I forgot what my question was. But, okay, so speaking of freaking the dream, and what's, like, the freakiest thing that's ever happened to you guys? Like, freaky. Like, 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 PG freaky. What do you like, mean, like, what kind of freaky? Like, uh, scary okay, freaky? Okay, okay. Any, any freaky that you want. I got locked out. I mean, locked up in someone's apartment who did not want to let me leave. I'm not going to name any name. And uh, I escaped from the window uh, from the third floor. And I thought I was strong enough to go down the rope. I, it's a movie. I attached sheets together. I locked myself in the room. Yeah. And then, uh, but I thought I was strong enough to hold myself in one arm. And I just fell from the third floor. It's like taken. And then, and then I ran to my car and I had stick shift and I was like, <laughs> I still drove and then. And then she came to an audition. Yeah. I went and to she a, came to an audition. She's like, I can't move my arm. And I booked it. It was for the Latin Grammy Awards and Teresa was co choreographing with Gilbert. And I, I booked it. The only I booked it too. That is insane. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that's a real story. It's a real, true story. You need to write a book oh, about that. Yeah. Okay, Lindsay, what's the freakiest thing that ever happened to you? I don't know, but when I was in London, um, I couldn't feel the right side of my head, <laughs> and I probably should still go to the doctor, <laughs> but that was the freakiest thing right now this week. Can you feel it right now? Um, I can feel it right now, but it feels bruised. Lindsay, go check that out right now, please. Oh God, isn't it the love part? Okay, wait, girls. So I asked them, my curious question was, what's the freakiest thing that ever happened to you? Like, and, like, PG freaky. I mean, well, you know, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> you hear you know what I mean? No, I'm just kidding. I, I mean, you don't have to be PG. PG-13. Hold on, I gotta think. 
You got that too. It's in the plane. No, the freakiest thing that ever happened to Shorty was when she showed up at the doctor's office and they told her that she actually wasn't a boy. I knew you were gonna say that. For some reason, like I, I, I just had this like it was something about gender. They were really talking about you, but I just told you that they were talking about me, so you didn't feel so bad. What happened to you? I don't know. I, honestly, Becoming I can't friends with you guys. I, it's okay. We'll come back. We'll, we'll come back to a part two of yeah, freakiness. We'll think. And it'll be good. We'll have good ones. Theirs were lame. I'm just kidding. All right. Well, before we leave, everybody check out these cool beanies, okay? Yeah. Where where can you get them? You think it's still cold in March? Yes. And we're thinking of you because it's still cold in March, so we made these cool beanies that you can also wear in the summer because they're really cool. That's how considerate they are. They think of you guys. They're fast. They want you to be warm. They work yes. dogs. So where, where can we get them? Oh. I'm, I'm obsessed with dogs now. I have two I dogs. I see that on your I'm Instagram. I'm like Instagram crazy with my dogs. Oh, They're adorable. You have like three. I have two, but I'm babysitting one more. So cute. Oh, that was sweet. Okay, but wait. Can we get, can we get, um, they will be on the BeFreaks.com very soon. Oh. Coming soon. Coming yes. soon. Yes, which I saw on the website, coming soon. And you have a very intense picture of you guys. <laughs> Which I love, by the way. Y'all need to blow that up, for real. It's really good. That picture's tight. That's, oh, oh that's oh, what she said. I was jealous because I didn't get to say it. I was like, oh, you got me by some advice. I really want, real quick, some real talk. We got to give a shout out to ML and say thank you to Amanda yeah. Yeah. and everybody at ML for making this happen because we're really excited to be here be part of the the cool kids and yep. um you know just do our thing and, and all right they need yeah. to go they need to go get in the yeah, cypher yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, yeah. like, that, and that's what happens after after the workshop is they have a live jam session with a live dj man so check it out DJ Andrew v. DJ she's here the best and and vasquez oh. check it out you guys thanks so much ladies Freak the dream! Woo!